Hey guys, have you ever wondered how the business that you have coming in the front door affects the value of your business when you go and try to sell it? Today we're going to go over sphere of influence versus portal business and how each specific type of business that comes in the front door from those would affect the value of your business when you go to sell it when you retire. So let's get started. Hey, this is Hank Sorensen with the YouTube channel Go Get a Listing. I'm going to give you my standard disclaimer today that nothing I'm going to say constitutes legal or accounting advice. I'm not your attorney, I'm not your accountant, so please don't take it as that. If you do need legal or accounting advice, please consult the appropriate professional in the state that you guys are located. Today, we're going to, what we're going to go over is looking at sphere of influence business versus portal business and how that affects the value of your business. Now, we're gonna venture a little bit into how to value a business upon a sale today, but only touch the edges of it, so it's not gonna get very complex at all, I promise. Sphere of influence business is primarily gonna concentrate on database referrals and usually friends and family. This is controllable by you. Portal business is gonna concentrate on Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, some type of leads that you're paying for usually on a subscription basis. Now these, like I said, you're in control of. These, there could be a decision made out in California or some other location by one of these businesses that would cut your leads in half. If I'm the purchaser of your business, that's not very attractive for me to know that I'm buying a business that may have revenue cut substantially by a decision that I have no control over. So I would value this much higher than I would value this. Now let's go over the typical valuation so I can show you an example of what this would translate to on paper as far as a purchase price for your business. If an agent was doing 12 million and say it was a rainmaker and one buyer's agent, this after uh, all of the expenses of the business would net out probably about 250,000 at the end of the year. Now, when you sell a business to a purchaser, specifically a real estate agent business, usually what's going to happen is you're going to use a, what's called a multiplier times the trailing 12 months EBITDA. Now, EBITDA stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. You don't have to remember that because for most real estate agents, especially an agent at a $12 million volume, instead of EBITDA, we're just going to use the past 12 months of earnings. So. We'll use 250,000 as our basis to do the multiplier on. And in the real estate business, and I'll go over this in, a, in, uh, in depth in a future video, but the multiplier that you're gonna use for portal business is probably going to be 3.0. And I'll explain this, like I said, in a future video as to why you use these numbers. I would use 3.0 times that 250K to establish a value on the portal business. This is going to give me a value of $750,000 for that business. The multiplier that I would use for sphere of influence, again, it makes me feel more comfortable because this business, I can depend on it. So long as this person still wakes up and can do lead generation on a database that loves them, they'll continue to give them business. The multiplier I would use here is 3.5. What that's gonna do is give us a value of 875,000 on the business. Now that's me personally. Can reasonable minds differ on this? Yes, they can, but I can't imagine a single reason why an agent would value a portal business higher than a business that was based on sphere of influence. This is my analysis of this today. And like I said, in a future video, I'll go over exactly why we use the multipliers that we use. Hopefully this has been educational for you today. If it has been, please like, subscribe, comment, click the bell so you get the notifications turned on and you get the next video that I drop on these issues. Thanks.